Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Yesterday we talked about an introduction to Frameback. Today we are going to talk about how to install the official web application. In the description of this video, you will get a link that will take you to the GitHub repository. Click on code, then click on this copy button here to copy the GitHub link. Then go into your C drive and make a folder. I've just created one called temp here. Go inside the folder. At the top here, you will type in CMD, press enter, and this will open a CMD prompt. Now in here, we'll type in git clone and then paste the link and press enter. This will copy the frame pack from GitHub to your local directory. So you'll get a folder called frame pack. And inside it, you will have everything that you need. Now in the terminal, we'll need to type in CD, which stands for change directory. And we already know that we have a folder called frame pack. So we'll type in frame pack and then press enter. This will take you inside that folder. Next, you will need to have some kind of conda environment. I recommend installing Miniconda. It's a lightweight miniature installation of Anaconda which will give you everything you need in order to install the necessary requirements. So you can search for Miniconda on Google and then just go to anaconda.com and install the Miniconda from there. In your terminal, once Miniconda has been installed, you should be able to type in conda, press enter, and you will get something like this that will give you the list of commands. If you get a message like this that says conda not recognized, then it means that you have not installed Miniconda or Anaconda correctly, or you just need to restart your terminal, your CMD. So you can close out of this CMD, open it again, and then type in Conda to get the list of commands. Okay, so next we'll do Conda create dash N. You can give this any name. So this dash N means name. And this will be the virtual environment name that we'll be using. Next, we'll need a very specific Python version. So we'll type in Python 3.10. Press enter and uh, it will go and download the Python. So you will see here we have Python. You just need to type in Y, press enter. And then it will go ahead and download everything else. Okay, once completed, you will get this message here that says to activate the environment, we'll need to use this command. Now, this frame pack here is the name that I'm using here. So for you, it may be different if you've chosen a different name. I'm going to copy this or you can type it in and then press enter to activate that environment. So here you should see your virtual environment activated. Next, we'll need to install PyTorch manually. So search for PyTorch and go into the get started page. Now I am using Windows, so I'm going to select my options here. But if you're on a different operating system, just select them from here. So I'm going to choose the stable version, Windows, PIP, Python. All right, everything is good. Make sure you select your compute platform. Mine is 2.12.6. You may have to check on your GPU in order to get it. I'm going to select starting from install because on Windows, we type in pip instead of pip3. If you're on Mac or Linux, you can copy the entire command. Go into your terminal and then type in python-m pip and then paste the link. If Again, if you're on a different platform, you can type in pip3. You may have to do Python 3 as well. Press enter and install that one. All right, so that will probably take some time. Once it's completed, we'll need to install this requirements.txt. So you can type in pip or pip3, install dash r requirements.txt. Now, if you have various Python version on your system, you can also type in Python dash m at the beginning and then press enter for it to install and it's going to install everything that it needs. All right, so once the requirements got installed correctly, you'll need to start the application by running this 
demo underscore gradio dot py file. So for that, we'll again from the terminal, we'll type in Python demo underscore gradio dot py. Press enter and just give it some time for it to download the models, and then you will get the web UI. All right, so hopefully you got your frame pack running on your system. I've showed you three different ways on how to do it. One of these ways should work. In case you get into any issues, you can post it in the comments down below and I will try to help you to the best of my abilities. Thank you for watching until the very end. Have a nice day. Take care. I will see you in the next one.